one of the best tier 8 premium heavy tanks I've played in a long time and of course it was free for everyone to obtain as part of the December Earn Challenge that you probably managed to get if you're watching this channel. This of course is the very fast French heavy tank that can go 40 kilometers an hour forward. It has loads of beneficial advantages and today we're going to look at, into each of these and showcase how you can play this tank and really make the best of it. In terms of kitting out this tank correctly, we went with advanced optics to be able to spot opponents. We went with advanced loader to be able to increase that loading time and have better DPM and of course gun stabilizer to make sure that we're hitting our opponents effectively. Of course you could have slight changes but this is the one we went with. Of course we then had food consumable to just boost up the tank in every single regard. With all of that out the way, let's look at how this tank can actually play in game. Our first gameplay that we're going to be checking out in today's video is on Highway and this is a map that I feel like a lot of players when they're playing heavy tanks get completely wrong and they end up taking their tank, they're just camping up by this bridge over here and we're going to show you how you can be aggressive in the game and still pull out results that you'll probably want to be seeing uh, within your games in heavy tanks. Let's not beat around the bush, of course if it is just you versus nine of the enemy tanks you're not going to be able to defend the town 100% and therefore you shouldn't go there but if you can and you have some support that you can feel like you can make up at least a valiant defense where yeah you may get taken out at the end of it but you can still then deal enough damage to the enemy team and make better trades than they've actually dealt damage to you and therefore you can win your games much better within this tank and of course the key thing with this tank is that you don't want to be angling just completely uh, straight away. So you don't want to angle because then it exposes those kind of flat bits on the front of the tank which can then become basically or well, they're angled to begin with then they become flat and therefore you can get penned in them uh, if anyone knows that and of course you then don't want to just be straight on because often people can find that big chunky lower plate that you have in these French heavy tanks and therefore uh, they'll put just a round straight into that instead so you need to kind of wiggle your frontal armor as you're kind of looking towards people and that's the key thing about these tanks of course you could see me there I just turned slightly if you could have gone back and had a look at the angle of my tank in the bottom left hand corner you can see I'm always kind of turning and moving and wiggling the hull armor just to make it a little bit more difficult for the opponent to be able to pen me and that's what you have to do in the French heavies you can't just be sat there at the same angle trying to remain uh, unpenable because it just doesn't happen especially if you're coming up against tanks like the T-34 that have ridiculous and I mean ridiculous penetration for a tank at tier 8 especially a heavy at that Obviously, we can snap shots with this tank because we have really good accuracy, actually, for a heavy tank with only 300 alpha. That's probably why. Uh, and this is where we can really push forward and get use the DPM that this tank gets uh, to be able to have some good shots. Obviously, that was quite a lucky one. Didn't get any damage from it, but we did track him and therefore got some assistance damage. And these are the sort of things that you want to be doing in your games. Uh, what we do notice here you can shoot through buildings or not buildings but destructible objects so a wall you know you've got a tank it's going to go through a wall like you need to think about that as well when you're playing in your games some people will just not shoot that's obviously the misplay you can still hit people when they are going through uh, or behind a wall obviously it does act as kind of some sort of armor so if you didn't quite have the penetration to go through uh, both the wall and their armor then you aren't going to be able to so that's kind of the trade-off you can still go through them and when we've got AP rounds that have fairly nice penetration that's not really a problem with this tank obviously you're seeing me fire at the object 777 the weak point of that tank being that big lower plate and you just see me side scraping off the corner of this building because we don't have to be exposed 90% of the time you know I can pull forward and just show them the bit of the armor that they aren't going to be able to penetrate which is obviously um, that really angled side of our tank I do notice that the M41 Walker Bulldog is on our side, Make, he makes a bit of a misplay and gets stuck so we're just going to put a round nicely into his track there and be able to get some extra damage. Obviously we're playing just to get rid of this object 777, we try and put a round into him but it bounces which is unfortunate and then we get hit by the T-34 who's kind of not necessarily snuck up but he has got behind us uh, and now we have to either deal with him or deal with that M41 Walker Bulldog because we've only got 900 hit points and if we don't deal with one side we're then going to get sausage sandwich so when you're in your heavy tanks and you're trying to decide what you need to do you need to get rid of 
one of the flanking sides because obviously the best part of your tank is the frontal armor and therefore you need to be ensuring that your frontal armor is towards the opponents at all times and what you will see here is we know that the walker bulldog was there don't know why he's still there he manages to miss us which is nice uh, but we do have now the t-34 who manages to pen us there auto aiming by the looks of it uh, and then we're just going to auto aim because yeah we have pretty good penetration and we're not going to be able to get penned that reliably and what you see me do here is kind of bait the M41 into thinking that we're then going to push super aggressively. We're now going to turn. And obviously he didn't really think that he was going to be able to get round us. Or at least I would have hoped he didn't think that he was going to be able to get round us. Because we can just back up against the wall and we'll put another round quite nicely into his tank. And therefore we've won the city now. And... I guess you don't really need to see the rest of this replay. Um, we're going to skip forward to the end bit of the game, but you can see what right here before we leave is before you go around a corner, always try and side scrape because if you just go around the corner, you could potentially take a hit and therefore it's going to end up badly for you. So make sure that you're doing that as just an extra bit. Let's skip forward to the end of the battle where we see the post battle result screen. So here we go with the victory screen 3,783 damage. We did manage to get a nice chunky profit as well 101,000 silver we came top obviously with a damage result like that we managed to secure the town and win the game for our team or at least helped to win the game at least for the most part and of course we did get a mastery badge with this result so that was always a good benefit for us and let's have a look at how we can defend on another map using this tank and using the key things about it the next map is lakeville and this is a map that is obviously come into the game not that long ago as part of the most recent new update in world of tanks console and so i guess we can showcase one thing that you can do on this map to secure victories really really easy when maybe you just didn't realize that you can do that and you can be super aggressive at the end of the game to defend your base and that is what we're going to showcase in this one obviously i'm going to showcase a spot as well that you can take at the early stage of the battle to secure some early damage for pretty much free as long as you don't get blind fired so and that is coming up very very quickly and as you're getting through the game if you're going to commit into the town area you have to commit early so you have to go now now is the time where the enemy team aren't going to be able to get through the middle of the map and be able to spot you uh, to be able to get some uh, damage on you i see a lot of people delaying their kind of movement into the town and if you do that you see where that is 6 is that's a heavy tank medium tanks will get a lot further a lot quicker and therefore be able to spot you as a cross and then you're taking a lot of damage in the side uh, as you try and make your way over to where we are now obviously what i'm talking about those spot early on in the game is here or similar sort of area you can get damage on people that are crossing on the enemy side and maybe didn't take the words or the advice of some players within the game some people that have played lakeville a little bit more and that is just making sure that you get yourself across quick enough so that you don't then just get taken out like you can see us putting damage into the is 6s and obviously trying to put damage into anyone else that's crossing now you'll notice as well that in this game we've seen that there are a few heavy tanks into the right hand corner. I'm seeing that there's quite a lot of our teammates over there so we don't need to be super super aggressive to go into the town. I'm kind of waiting to see what happens on both of the flanks. Are we going to win the town area and therefore I don't really need to progress into there or are we going to lose the town area and therefore I need to help them out and then make a decision as to what I'm going to do in the later stage of the battle. So you can see it's kind of thinking about how your team is going to play out and therefore you can make your uh, informed decisions it's not always best to just commit a hundred percent into one flank that maybe you could have been positioned better elsewhere and it's about positioning as well within world of tanks to have those really really good games but obviously with a heavy tank slash medium tank like this i mean i say it's a heavy it <laughs> It has armor of a heavy tank. It has mobility of somewhat a very fast heavy tank. Um, but yeah, it has the accuracy of a medium tank and the alpha of a medium tank. Kind of getting you into this kind of hybrid mindset, I guess, with it. Now uh, we've got 1189 damage, which is as fairly mediocre to be honest with you for a heavy tank but we kind of can pick that up very quickly and with a reload of about seven seconds you can dish out that damage quite nicely and you're seeing me aim for the t28 htc's weak point which is of course the other free tank that was available during december and let me just say i think that this is the better tank of the two although the t28 htc does get preferential matchmaking so that kind of boosts that tank slightly further up 
Obviously, 1750 damage is no awful result, and I could die right now and still have a good game. But what we're going to do now is push aggressively. I know it sounds very, very stupid to be able to push into the enemy four tanks that are left alive on my own pretty much because we only have a heavy tank that is on very low hit points it wouldn't necessarily be a good idea in the majority of games that you'd be playing on these kind of maps but with Lakeville it's super easy to defend the cap circle because it's basically an open field where they have to push across it and if you can get there early enough you can get some early damage you can then stop them from advancing you then force them back away from the cap circle or alternatively if they're trying to just cap in the cap circle they're not going to be able to do that very effectively and so yeah although we <laughs> bottle a shot there doesn't really matter and we really do need to kind of push our advantage to be able to keep resetting maybe our team will cap themselves and therefore put pressure on them and therefore that we're going to win the game or alternatively we can just deal enough damage to them as you're seeing us do here we are loading a pcr rounds here because i just don't want to uh, bounce a shot because very quickly things can turn on the head if they all just decide to rush which could be a problem um which therefore you kind of need to think about and therefore that's why we're not just uh, YOLOing in as well we're keeping our tank with the hull of our tank kind of below the ridge line and therefore making it difficult for them to just automatically pen uh, and we'll put a round into the <laughs> ISM but unfortunately we just hit the ridge as we do that so I guess we could have made a few better plays within this game I'm talking to you from a point and perspective of kind of thinking <laughs> methodically about your games and how you can increase the chances obviously these may not be the most perfect games that you could possibly have on world of tanks but it showcases how defendable the cap is and when you've got the armor of this tank where it makes it difficult to just snapshot uh, you can really have those good games we get hit one time by the amx cdc but that's very easy we're then going to just reverse to try and put the wreck of this ism between us but unfortunately for the cdc he does get taken out by noob 8383 so yeah Thank you very much for supporting me there and um, we definitely had a good result and pulled it out of the bag especially considering there were four tanks in front of us with just us at the beginning of it. 1500 base XP, 3435 damage, not a bad result for a tier 8 heavy tank uh, in a matchup that, like that which was a very, very quick game as well, only five minutes. And uh, that's really where this tank can be really, really good because you have the alpha damage that isn't awful, but you also have the DPM that kind of builds that up uh, to a better standard of being able to have effective damage every single minute of the game. And the good penetration on both your standard and your AP CR make it really, really fun to play. And probably one of my most favoured heavy tanks within World of Tanks right now, yeah, definitely enjoy it and of course it is a free tank that you could have been able to pick up and hopefully you did hopefully this video did it justice and of course if you want to check out any other videos and gameplay for world of tanks console then do so on screen now thanks for watching goodbye